हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दत्तात्रय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज फायर एंड गैस डिटेक्शन सिस्टम पार्ट इलेवन डी वन एंड वी विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग दिस सीरीज इन पार्ट एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड टू द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स इंजीनियरिंग instrumentation and control engineering deliverables telecommunication engineering and procurement engineering etc and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is fire and gas detection system part 11 d1 fire and gas detection system we will see the introduction the fng system continuously monitor for abnormal situations such as fire or combustible or toxic gas release within the plant and provides early warning and mitigation action to prevent the escalation of the incidents and protect the process or the environment the main objective of a fire and gas system in the process plant is to protect the personnel plant asset and the environment basics of the fire and gas detection first is the combustible material a solid liquid or a gas may undergo the chemical reaction of a combustion the combustion occurs when an organic chemical is oxidizes to produce energy water and carbon dioxide for example the combustion of the common combustible gas like methane second is the explosive range the explosive range is the concentration range of the combustible gas or a vapor by percentage volume in the air in which an explosion can occur upon the ignition in other words the region between lfl and ufl where we will see the definitions below for gas and vapor one can refer to the figure where 0 to 100 percentage and lel and ul is defined where to lean to burn oxygen combustion to reach to to burn this is what it is defined as the limit we will see the definitions third lower flammable limit that is lfl lower explosive limit that is lel the lower flammable limit or lower explosive limit is the lower concentration of an explosive range for a combustible mixture at or above lfl a combustible gas or vapor will support a self propagating flame when the mixed with air and ignited a mixture below is the concentration level is consider to lean to burn one can correlate with a figure above fourth upper flammable limit that is ufl or upper explosive limit that is lel the upper flammable limit or upper explosive limit is the upon upper concentration limit of the explosive range for a combustible mixture the above ufl the mixture is considered to reach to cause an explosion this is how the above figure can be correlated as a definition continue with uh, definition phi flash point that is fp the flash point is the temperature at which a liquid or a volatile solid gives off a wafer sufficient in the form to form an ignitable mixture with the air near the surface of the liquid or within the test vessel in general any gas or a vapor with a flash point below ambient temperature should be monitored regularly sixth ignition point that is ip the ignition point is the minimum temperature required to initiate or cause self sustained combustion in any substance in the absence of the spark or the flame refer below pictures where we have seen the block diagrams of the fgs system and similarly the types of the detector we will see the first block diagram one can see the fire detection as a input that is a smoke heat flame manual call point then the second gas detection that is a toxic flammable acoustic leakage manual call point is the input to the logic solver where the fire and gas controller or fire alarm panel systems is been used then the logic solver will provides the feedback to the switch gear mcc 
similarly notification to the appliances like beacons and sounder for the notifications or alarms then third is the fire suppression system as a output then safety shutdown system and in addition to this alarm list and alarm displays will be there so as to see where the alarm and displays are mentioned are the zone which requires the careful attention similarly on the right hand side picture we can see the fire detection that is a flame detector smoke detector for various classes are shown then the gas detector that is a combustible toxic and oxygen type and system solutions where one can see fire gas detection system fully customized system design gas sampling system and it will give you as a complete solution that is called the fire and gas detection system moving on to fire and gas detection device type one can refer the block diagram or a typical classification diagram where the detection devices that is a fire gas and dust detectors are provided and simultaneously the various sub categories or sub division or sub classifications are provided fire divided into smoke heat flame gas detector that is flammable and toxic dust detector that is a combustible and further these are categorized smoke that is ionization and a photoelectric type flame type it will be uv ir and spark or ember type then the flammable gases is divided into the catalytic gas type and infrared type further the toxic gas that is h2s gas detection will be divided into the detector sub types is electrochemical cell and the semiconductor type so as to understand little about this we will see the device fng are mainly divided as follows that is a fire detector a device which can detect a fire and provide a signal to an alarm circuit fire detectors can be operated by smoke flame and heat or any other combinations of these factor second gas detector a gas detector is a device that detects the presence of the gas in an specified location or area often as part of the safety system third is the dust detector dust detection device continuously monitor particulate emission through an air filtration system and alert when the level meets a predetermined threshold or the frequency thereby detecting the level of particulate matter that exceed regulatory standards or the requirement and potentially put employees or personnel health at the risk on to the detectors and their types we will see their characteristics and comparison between flammable gas detector toxic gas detector and fire detector let's have the table for us first characteristic that is type under flammable gas detector first is the catalytic gas detector second infrared gas detector third open path that is line of sight under toxic gas detector that is h2s electrochemical cell type second semiconductor that is mos type under fire detector smoke detector that is ionization and a photoelectric type further the heat detector and third one is the flame detector now we will see the working principles for the flammable gas detector first type is the catalytic gas detector catalytic gas detector determines gas concentration through the oxidization which results in heat and this is sensed by a bridge circuit this is how catalytic type gas detector work and the set points that is a typically recommended minimum alarm setting of 20% lfl and 60% lfl to indicate low and high levels of the gas this definition or this set point levels one can correlate with the figure which we have see in our uh, with this video where lel or lfl or ul definitions were provided under toxic gas detector first type is a electrochemical cell type developed to react exclusively to h2s as a result of a chemical reaction of the cell organic electrolyte with h2s and electric current is generated then which is proportional to the h2s concentration in the sample of the gas which is used for the electrochemical cell type 
detector. Under the fire, smoke detectors are further classified that is ionization smoke detector. These detectors have an ionization chamber with a 8 particles radiator consisting americium 241 foil and its center and it ionizes the air inside the chamber and electric voltage is applied to the needle electrode as a result a known current flow through the detection chamber when the detector is in its normal state. This is how the types are being worked. Continuing to the other types under flammable, second type is a infrared gas detector. Infrared gas detector make use of the property of the hydrocarbons and other gases to absorb infrared energy at a certain wavelength but not by the others. Set points, a typical recommended minimum alarm setting of the 20 LFL and 60 LFL to indicate low and high levels of the gas. Under flammable gas detector, third that is open path line of sight. Open path gas detector make use of properties of gases to absorb the infrared energy at a certain wavelength but not other set point that is a typically recommended minimum alarm settings of 0.5 LFL M and 50% LFL is extended for 1 meter. Under the toxic, the second type, semiconductor that is MOS type, the semiconductor type is based on the absorptions of H2S molecules on the surface of a solid state semiconductor crystal which causes a change in the electrical resistance of the electrical circuit and of which the semiconductor forms as the part of the system. Set point H2S detectors have a typically recommended minimum alarm settings of 5 ppm and if the second stage alarm is used then 10 ppm shall be used as a semiconductor MOS type. Under the fire detector second is the photoelectric that is optional smoke detector where the sensor consists of a transmitter LED and a receiver as a photodiode. These two types of the devices are installed at a specific angle to one another and a separator by a screen so that the whatever the light from the LED cannot impinge in indirectly on the receiver diode. Third type heat detector, heat or thermal detector resistor the increase in the temperature caused by a fire. Fourth type flame detector that is a sensor designed to detect and respond to the presence of a flame or fire allowing the flame detection. Moving on to the comparison table for flammable toxic and fire and gas detector. Please refer table below where we have listed the characteristics from top to bottom at the left hand side and type of detectors are listed horizontally from left to right. We will go through the table in brief but please study this table carefully so as to understand the detector better. Characteristics are covered under this uh, type, sensor type, principle of the gas detector, measuring range, instrument range, response type, repeatability, linear and accuracy where the flammable gas detector HC types are covered. Portable gas detector SC, toxic gas detector H2S, portable gas detector H2S, H2 gas detector, IR flame detector, these are the detectors are covered. Please study this table, watch the video carefully, we will move on to the next set of the characteristics. Moving on to the next set of the characteristics, please refer the table where the characteristics of the transmitter type, wire type, output of the detector, alarm, splash guard or with shield or other items are covered as part of the various or the next set of the characteristics and similarly the types are covered and their details are listed in each column so as to have the comparison table. Please study this table carefully where you will get all the details which is required to study or understand the detector types and their comparison. Keep watching our videos 
and in the next series or a next part we will cover the other remaining gas detection devices keep watching our channel and this series of particularly made for fire and gas detection system with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic